Okay, building with Papa. Right now we're going to um, take this truck and trailer. Okay, they have a seven pin. Okay, we have a seven pin. And he got an electric jack for his trailer. It also has a seven pin. Okay, and he also has a battery inside. Remember the video I did never buy, buy another battery again? Well, that was this battery for his trailer. He's got it in there, it's working on his lights and it's working really well. Problem is he doesn't have it charged up. So I'm going to tie it in for him for his off his seven pin to charge up his 12 volt battery inside that's going to run his lights so that whenever he hooks up his trailer with the seven pin, his battery will be charging. Also, I'm going to go ahead and install some fans for him. He bought a couple fans. He bought a couple fans. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to install these fans in his trailer, okay? Because he is working, this is where he works. He gets his his stuff he uh has it here in his trailer he has to take it out and bring it into the stores okay so when he's in that trailer it's pretty hot okay first thing you want to do is look at your seven pin now this ram um truck seven pin shows you you have your positive power here your negative power here you have to talk loud the truck is running Turn this on. Positive up the top and negative down the bottom. Let's see what we get. Okay, we got 14. That means that alternator is pumping it out. Okay? We're getting plenty of power to be able to charge the other battery. Okay? Okay, well. This is going to make it a little easier. He has a small 12 volt battery here that handles the brakes for the trailer. So he has a negative is the white. We know that. This is all coming from the seven pin. The white is the, the negative and the black here is the positive. Okay, which the positive is running off of here going to keep this battery charged. Okay, so that he has brakes on the trailer, all right? So all I have to do is run one more wire inside. I don't know if I have enough room in this to run it in what's there, but I'm gonna give it a try. Okay, this is the battery that we had in the video. Never buy a battery again, okay? I had charged it up, but since then, I've charged it up, but since then, He's just been using it directly to take care of the lights, okay? We're hooking up the seven pin to this battery. I wanna show you where it is right now, even though he's been using it for weeks. It's at 12.17, 12.17. So it needs to be charged, okay? It's operating the lights, so it's not using a lot of power, but he's got a seven pin. He can charge this, so that's what we're gonna do. All right, let's start. We're gonna pull this battery out. Okay, so I found a spot behind the battery case where I can go through, be a nice place outside to be able to run this battery. Okay, I'm drilling the hole behind the box through the floor so that I can pass the positive wire down and underneath the trailer out to the box where the seven pin is coming in or the seven pin wire with the positive wire. So I drilled the hole big enough to run the wire through. Once I run the wire through, I'll actually seal it. But now I'm going ahead and running 
this red positive wire to the bottom of the trailer. The other wires that you see that are attached to the battery already, those are the ones that go up to the existing lights inside the trailer and everything that's in the trailer right now, which is just the lights, is operating off of the battery. I'm going to run this positive wire through to the seven pin wire so the battery will charge. And then I'm also going to run new wires up for some fans. And he has one light that's not working. I'm going to open that light up and find out what the problem is. Okay. Got the hole through, going through the bottom. Now we're going to run the wire. Okay, I've run it through the floor and now I've got it in the case. All right, we're going to make our connections outside so to make sure we have enough wire. Okay, now the wire is run through the bottom. It's connected to the battery. Let's go ahead and go outside and work on the box and connect to the seven pin. Okay, here's the wire coming through the floor. And then I'm bringing it over here to bring it in the box. Okay, we're going to cover that. Okay. He also has an electric jack. So being we're running these wires, we're going to hook everything up together. Okay, so I'm going to bring this in to this box but before I, I cut this remember now this is the top for the 7 pin so we know that's the hot and that's the negative I gotta get these screws out so that you can take. Okay. So we know hot was black. Okay, so it has a groove to where that was in the top pin. All right. And then so this is hot, which is black. And this yellow green is the neutral. So now that we know the black is definitely hot, it's what I would have assumed, but we don't like to assume. So I know I have enough wire to get into this box, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. Okay, now the trick is to get all these wires inside this box and sealed so you don't get any water in it either. Now I'll be doing the sealing at the very end once I get everything connected. So our first step now is to make sure each wire is able to be put in through the box and long enough and be able to make all the connections. This is the difficult part because there's already a lot of wires inside this box. But I'm not adding very many. It, actually I'm only adding three wires. It seems like there's an awful lot, and there's already holes in this plastic box. I'm making them just a little bit wider to be able to receive the additional wires. The red wire I'm pulling through, that's the one that I had connected to the battery inside the trailer. The black one and the green-yellow is the one that's connected to the electric jack. And there's an opening in the front here I'm having to open up a little bit and bring these wires through. So I'm only actually adding three additional wires to this box. It is tight but it will work. I'm not concerned about it. It's very simple fix if we do have any other problems. So now I'm passing the black and the 
yellow green into the box as I said it's a tight fit but it will go there it is okay now that we've brought the wires in I also want to protect the wires okay so you can now see I have the red wire going through the coating on the outside I have the black and yellow wire going through I had to op open the plastic box we get that coating so it all stays together all right now let's hook it up okay so we got the wire in now we're going to connect it but the first thing we do is we're going to put an inline fuse okay and I went with the bigger top type because he has a smaller one here that just works with the lights the one I'm connecting is going to be working with the um, seven pin charge in this battery but also uh, jack the electric jack so I'm using a bigger fuse but you want to fuse in line so that if you ever have any trouble the fuse will blow before you burn down your trailer So get the wire stripped. Okay, we have it connected. We haven't put the fuse in. So we can go ahead and put the battery back in the box. All right, I'm gonna tape up these wires. Then if it hasn't stopped raining, we're gonna put some fans in this so that he can stay nice and cool when he's working. All right, let me get this done. I'll show you the taped up and I'll show you the process of putting the fans up. Okay, still raining out, so what we're going to do is mount the fans. Okay, I want to give them one right about here, and then one right about here. And let's see how that works. So, I've got some nice stainless steel screws, you know, so we don't go through the all the way through, so we drill. All right, so we got the first pilot hole drilled. Now we're gonna screw this one in. Not all the way. Okay, we wanna make sure we get all the other ones drilled. Okay, 
start your next screw. You don't have to tighten them all the way up yet. Let's get in there. tacked off, I can go ahead, drill the other two pilot holes and put those screws in, then I can tighten everything up. the other fan first before we wire everything. We're going to do the same thing. All right, now we're going to wire them. I think we're in a good position. He can move them any way he wants to. Okay, now I'm going to wire them. I'm going to run these all the way across to the existing wires in, in the thing, and then I'll tie these to the new wires that I ran. Now, if I have red and white, I would run red hot and white neutral. The fans come with a red and black. To me, both of them are hot. So I have a problem with this. But, so I am going to run red as hot. And I'm going to use, hopefully this is hot, and that wherever they're made, that they think this is neutral. Okay, so let's get started with this. Okay. So I'm going to use, instead of using the butt connectors, I'm going to use this inline connector. This is all interior, so this works good.
and we connect it to the one side and then we can go right we grab the wire and just put it put it in here it'll go in the whole side just like that okay and then you crimp it when you bring the other one in you're bringing it it's easy to get know where you're at but that inside one you have to get right Same thing. Notice where the plug is on the back side. Get your wire in. Okay. And then attach this to the existing one. Okay, now, now I have these connected there, you saw the one fan working, now I'm going to connect these, I put the one in first, then I put it in line, keeping them somewhat tight, so when I strap them up, everything works beautifully. Okay, alright, his inside lights come on, and his fans come on at the same time, it just comes in the trailer, boom, there. Man, that feels good. I think he's gonna like it. All right, now I'm gonna finish strapping these up, finish the connection outside. It stopped raining, I'll get it done. He needs it for tomorrow. Okay, now I have the black wire that's coming off the seven pin. We know that that's the hot, okay? So I put one of these on there. And now I'm going to take the the red wire that I have tied to the battery right now, but I don't did not put in the breaker yet. Okay. We're going to put that in here going to splice these together now we're going to take this black wire and we're going to attach it to the red that's going to the battery attach this one to the white.
Okay, everything's hooked up to the battery. Okay, we're gonna hook up the seven pin. We're gonna start it up. And then we're gonna see how it's charging the big battery. Okay, okay, we did an inline fuse. Everything is hooked up. I'm gonna go start the truck up and then we're gonna check. Okay, the truck is started up. All the wiring is complete. Thirteen. Okay, I thought I would be getting more, but I think the battery itself was so low. The battery itself was so low, it's going to take a little while to charge this battery. Alright, we're at 13. I'm going to let it run a little bit, then I'm going to come back and check it. Alright, so the battery is charging. I'm going to close all this up. Derek, now you're, when your truck is running, it's going to be charging this battery. Okay, this battery is going to be able to run your lights and your fans. Whether the seven pin is hooked up or not, doesn't matter. Your jack is going to work whether your truck is hooked up or not. Okay, so you're going to be able to use your electric jack, your lights and your fans without hooking up to anything. When your seven pin is hooked up, it's going to operate your brakes and, your, and charge in this battery. So you're always going to have this battery fully charged and you're going to be with your fans running, your lights on, it's going to be a lot cooler in here, you're going to be able to see better. Alright Derek, and for anybody else who wants to do this, this is your step by step. Alright, build them with Papa. Like, subscribe and ring that bell. Alright, thank you. Please make a comment, um, you know, give me a thumbs up, all this helps. Thank you very much. See you on the next one. All right. We're hooked up to the switch. Turn off the switch. Everything turns off. Seven pins hooked up and it's charging the battery. There you go.